Okay guys, good morning. In today's episode, we are going over our one month Sharky update. So this will be the update for August. It is currently the 30th of August. So basically last day of the month. And there might be one loan that's still coming in, but I feel like it's still a good time to release this video and let you guys know how the update is currently going. So basically if we scroll back to about 30 days ago, we had a, essentially the way that the month started is we had the Gecko repayment. I think that should have been the last, let me quickly just double check in the last video. We had, okay, so on the last video, we basically had two underwater DAA loans and that was basically, we, we ended on the Gecko loan at 2950 and then we ended the month at 176.62 so we ended there basically what happened was very luckily both degenerate apes at the time of the last video that were underwater they repaid uh, i wasn't too worried because once again if you know certain things about certain collections the one attribute on this monkey that is the suit is incredibly sought after and it's about five times the floor price so i wasn't worried about that one but this one i was a bit worried about because i would consider this one like a floor or slightly above floor but either way we got our loan back so we're happy uh, apart from that the month has been pretty good uh did some loans on uh, tensorians did some cyber frogs literally just did one after another um, jumped into Claosaur's Call of the Saga like two weeks ago. Uh, basically, I just saw the way I always compare the Claosaur collections is I would go into land, type clay, and essentially you've got the Saga ones, which are like way cheaper than the original collections. But I still think that the, the dinos are pretty cool. And typically they trade at about half the price. So when it goes below half the price and you want like an, a cheap alternative, I would st I, I just pick up the Saga ones. And currently the floor has rocketed on both of these collections very nicely. So, I mean, probably should have picked them up, but that's not what the series is about. So yeah, as I said, picked up some more clays um, and then just went back to the same strategy. Did like Tesorians, I got a default and I defaulted at 8.02, but I did sell that the, oh, I can't find the ID, but I can show you guys, I'll post pro, like proof. I sold it literally the same day. And then instead of making like a, a typical 0.15, I might've made, um, I think I made like 0.5, but I'm not gonna include that in the profit, but just let you guys know, I did make a much bigger profit than the 0.15 that I was meant to be paid. So I was quite happy with that. And in fact, it was like a more rare Tesorian. So that was pretty cool. And then just once again, just went straight back at it, went back to the cyber frogs, went back to Tesorians, went back to geckos and everything was smooth. And I just got paid back. It seems to be like the pattern that we end on a galactic gecko loan, which is pretty cool. But we do have like for this month, I've been far more aggressive. We do have a bunch more loans going out right now. We have uh, 29 soul active right now. We have one loan under value, uh, underwater, but I'm not too worried about it because if you go on to frogs and we go on to Magic Eden, what you guys can see is one, the main thing about this frog is it does have a faction. So the faction is the police which just automatically means it's worth more because it's part of one of the three. But then more importantly, it is also a beta. So if we go to Cyber Frogs and we look at the floor, uh, the current floor is 5.4. But if you go on to the, uh, do, 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 the frac faction, you can then see that police Yakuza Ronin's actually a bit cheap, but even still, your it's above floor price so they these are typically okay that's only like 0.1 more but once that gets scooped up typically the faction frogs sit above floor because you have to pay a certain amount of kira to obtain them 
And then more importantly, there is something called beta and beta frogs are just typically worth more. And if you look at the most recent sales, 8.6, 8.9, and then the current floor at 9.8, like they do sit like three sol above the current floor price, which is what this frog is because it has the beta. So I'm not worried about it. Uh, if he doesn't pay me back, then that's actually a good thing. Instead of a 0.1, I will probably get a point, like I could even make as much as three sol profit, maybe even four if I'm patient. Or if I'm greedy and I just want out, I can then sell it for a quick two sole profit. So yeah, basically stay tuned, get in the next video and we'll see if that one's a profit. Uh, another cyber frog, once again, this one I'm not worried about because it is also, it has a faction, which is just very important. So this one's the Ronin. And then I even think maybe the gun is rare. I'm not too sure. But once again, I mainly just look for if they beta, if they alpha, or if they're part of the fraction, just because. But if not, there's a huge update coming out next month, 19th of September or 13th of September, I believe. And that's basically when Scum's art is going to be applied to these frogs, and then that's just going to make them sick. Um, back to the basics, went back in for Degenerate Ape, love that collection, and then did another long-term gecko, the 14th. So both of these collections are 14-day ones, so like halfway through next month, we will then find out whether or not they paid back. Another thing that's really cool is that essentially Sharky's made it that you can now favorite collections and then that would sit at the top. So of course we would favorite these ones because these are all the ones that we trade on an active. Um, I guess like obviously there's more that we could look into. But I think for now, being honest, these are probably my favorites. And then, yeah, they sit at the top, except for these sharkies. So I guess we have to favorite them as well. But yeah, that's like, it's a really cool new feature that they've added. Obviously, it's a bit cute that they keep Shark X at the top, but it's obviously their platform, so that makes sense. But you can now favorite. So these are my current collections that I actively trade. Let me know which ones I'm missing and which ones you would include or like disclude. Uh, the other thing that I must say is that I saw one of the heads of Sharky. He basically said like, guys, let's up the stakes. They're doing a 45 day Sharky challenge. Whoever can prove on chain turning 10 soul to 20 will get two soul. It's a bit, it's a very difficult thing to double your money in 45 days. That's a crazy return. But I'm going to do my best and see how high I can get it. So that was obviously on the 19th. So that was 11 days ago. So what I've done is I made a new account. I put exactly 10 soul in it. And this is the 10 soul Sharky challenge. So on this account, which we started about 11 days ago, we can scroll down. So the first one was eight days ago. So I got the first loan out eight days ago, but I mean, I got it out 11 days ago and then they repaid me super quick within three days. So that was a good win. But yeah, that basically had already earned me 0.37. Uh, I didn't realize that my shark, uh, my cyber frogs loan hasn't been accepted. So I probably should throw out some, I'm going to probably revoke this and put out some new loans. And yeah, that's basically the excitement for this account. So at the moment, on our way to, I guess we need to get to 10 soul. But 11 days in and we've made 0 0.37 and then we have another loan on a Degenerate Ape. So let's see how this goes. The goal is I don't want this account to eat the other account, but obviously the amount of soul that I'm playing with isn't that much. So it shouldn't affect it at all. But I'm, I don't know if I should include it into the, the monthly summary. So for the sake of this month, I'm not going to, but you guys can also just let me know what you guys think. If I should include it, if I shouldn't. Because technically I've increased the amount instead of playing with the original 30 soul that we have been playing with or a little bit more now. Uh, I, I added 10 soul just to do the challenge. So I'll keep it separate for now. But yeah, basically we ended the month. Whoops. <laughs> we ended the month at 100, uh, 176.62 soul. And then we are currently at 178.3. So do the math. We did slightly better than last month and 1.76 sauna, which basically it's very much last month, but still 
profits profit and we're doing well um, what's more exciting is that last month I had only two degenerate apes that that was like continuing where right now we have four loans currently going so next month should be more profitable but it also just might be default city and stuff like that but once again the real number is actually a lot higher than 1.76 because I'm not including the profit we made from the default, which was probably more than 0.5 Solana. So once again, the Sharky like lending journey has been so good to us for the last few months. Catch you guys in the next video. Bye.